Hey, guys, you can see much more of me. Or the room behind me, I should say. Because, yeah, I'm at a new camera, I'm at a new angle, and going back to my basics here, going back to just hitting record and seeing what comes forth out of my mouth about Shershot and Spoilsport. Now, I have a nasty habit of mixing up their names. Uh, Spoilsport is actually the gun, and Shershot is the car. Shershot and Spoilsport, yes. Um... I have a really nasty habit of forgetting their names and actually saying that this is Spoil Sport and this is Sure Shot. I did it right that time. Usually I get them backwards, but anyway. Uh, this is actually a toy from, I believe, Generation... Generation 3. Uh, the, the weird time in Hasbro's production where they had to sort of, you know, cough them up themselves. I'll try not to quote everything that Thu did, because longtime subscribers of mine will know that I've already done a Sure Shot and Spoil Sport video, but I took it down because it was too Thu. So, uh, Sure Shot and Spoil Sport, while not having a big role in the cartoons, um, at least not one that I can remember, um, they did get their own toy. And I, I, I wish I had more of the comics. Uh, so I could see if he actually did anything of significant value in the, uh, the 80s comics, the Marvel comics. But so far from what I've read of the newer comics, he hasn't really showed up. So basically, all I can think of is that he is an Autobot who's just sort of there. Just, you know, Autobot. He's an Autobot Doom Buggy. And there aren't really a whole lot, a whole lot of those. There's Beachcomber. Sandstorm, which I almost want to say that this guy reminds me a lot of Sunstorm. No, not Sunstorm. Sandstorm. Sandstorm? Is that the one I'm thinking? The, the triple-changing um, the, the triple changing Autobot who's a doom buggy or, or some sort of off-road vehicle and a hovercraft and also an Autobot. Um, he just got a Generations reissue, uh, not reissue, uh, repaint slash redeco from Springer. I think it was Sandstorm. I'm going to say it was Sandstorm. Is the only other two yellow Doom Buggy vehicles uh, that come to, directly to mind, uh, aside from, like, Dirt Boss from Cybertron. Anyway. Um, can't really think of anything to say about him. Uh, because, well, he doesn't really do a whole lot, uh, at least in the American version of the Transformers fandom. In the Headmasters, I don't actually have the Headmasters. Hmm. I, should, I should buy the Headmasters sometime. Um, I'm not sure if he does anything, because I actually haven't seen Headmasters all the way through. I watched one or two episodes, um, and I just it just wasn't clicking, I think. Um... But yeah, he's a little bright yellow doom buggy. And he's kind of cool. For, for you know, not really knowing what he is. Uh, plastic tires, you know, this was sort of the time, like I said, that Hasbro had to sort of figure out how to do it themselves. So they got away from the rubber tires and the die cast completely. Um, there's a lot of nice detail. I don't know how well my camera's going to be able to pick it out. Ooh, not bad. Uh, you know, throughout the toy itself. And... His gimmick was his target master, Spoil Sport. Now, Spoil Sport is actually a really decent target master. Because basically all the target masters were where they were folded up men. You know, you break his break his knees, I think. And it's a gun. It's not very good, but he does have one major advantage over every other every other target master that comes to mind. He actually has a waist joint. It's actually metal. So when you fold them up, you're not creaking and breaking plastic like you do on Misfire and Aimless back there. Yeah, you can actually see my G1 collection. That one tiny shelf there. <laughs> yeah, I need to get more G1 guys. Um, so yeah, he does just stand there and he's a static figure, but he's really cool. He's actually pretty, pretty not bad, if I do say so myself. And forgive me if I'm not looking directly at the camera. I have this nice big screen. I can see myself in that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. 
setting the target master off to the side, we will on to the Doom Buggy itself. Now, it is apparently supposed to have like thrusters or something here, um, but I got mine. I got mine off eBay. I got mine off eBay for like ten dollars, so I didn't even expect him, you know, to really be in that good of condition. Um, I was actually really surprised when I got them in the condition I did. Because the Generation 1 Target Masters, for whatever reason, go for incredible amounts on eBay. Whether it's because their guns don't hold together, or the fact that they weren't released very much, I don't know. But, nonetheless, the Target Masters, and the Headmasters especially, can fetch some pretty, uh, pretty, pretty big prices on eBay. So anyway, Transformation. It's an 80s toy. You flip down the legs, rotate them out. Flip the tires behind, like that. Squish the torso. Grab the arms, rotate them down, like this. And then you want to take this little orange slider here, on the back of the arm. And then, just right here, can you do this here? Yeah, out pops his fist. That's so 80s, I love it, I love it. Just get the other one out here, and now time for the dramatic head reveal. Ba -da -da -da. Yes. And I will say what Thu said, and that really does look like Sideswipe. But I actually do have a Sideswipe uh, counterpart in the effect of Red Alert. And I was looking at them, and they look similar, but not not exactly, uh, not exactly carbon copy. I'm going to grab my Red Alert and show you what I mean. See how Red Alert's face is like this, and this is this guy's. <laughs> They're not exactly the same, though I do see the comparisons, the, the similarities. It's really dusty, guys, once in a while. I really need to get another Red Alert, too. Anyway, losing focus. <laughs> I do that in interviews. Uh... Yeah, here he is. Sports sport. Yes. Sure shot and sports sport. Sports sport. Yes. Uh, sports sport and sure shot. Sure shot. Now, for articulation, not really all that good. His arms go up about that far. Well, they they go all the way up, so you can have him, you know, play football or something. It's good. <laughs> It's good. I don't know why it's not that funny. I, I don't know. I just I just did. Um. <laughs> anyway, um, his arms bend <laughs> like that. But it is the uh the pseudo elbow where it's at the front instead of the back. And I guess that's more for uh for transformation than articulation. And his feet sort of articulate. Can you call it articulation? I mean, it's more than his target master has. He just can do a sit-up. You know? And he can hold his weapon in either hand rather well. Boom. Just like that. And it is rather fun. I do really enjoy Sure Shot and Spoil Sport here. They're just such a benign uh, idea. They're just such, 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 such an unknown character that... It just brings something to the front. Like you can use your imagination and make your own character. I'm sure there'll be people that'll spam the TF wiki at me. But listen, this guy right here, plastic form, is really cool. He's he's eighties. He's everything we love about Transformers of the of that generation. You know, Misfire is pink. This guy is McDonald's. He is very McDonald's. The McDonald's red and yellow. It just if he's McDonald's and he's that ugly shape transformer thing, the purple bleh thing. So <clears throat> yes, this is going to be me done for now. Uh, I may do another review in this sort of style. Anyway, this has been Optimus Prime. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I am going to go to bed. Bye.